this is the 60 second book review. And did I mention I'm an intellectual? Here it goes. The first book I'm going to review is called Shadow Island. It's about an island where they got a lot of windows, but they don't have curtains. They only have shutters. Real good book if you're into windows and shutters and shit. Next book is a dictionary. It's the American Heritage Dictionary, and it's got all sorts of words in it and real good meanings to it. Here's one, vacuum. A thing that sucks shit. Next is uh, classic horror stories. It's a whole book about stories about whores. So if you like to go to whores and pay for them and do them and shit, then you might like to read some classic tales all about them. Next is a book called The Knife Man. It's about a man who looks just like a butter knife. And if you're into books about people who look like kitchen utensils, then this might be the book for you. It's one of the only ones of its genre, the utensil people. Next is a short history of the movies, the final book I'm going to review. It's 900,000 pages long, but a real good short history of the movies. Hey everybody, I'm Tony, and I'm an intellectual, and I like to read books, and this is my review of five books in under a minute. It's Tony's 60-second book review. The first book I'm going to review is called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. If you like people who fly over shit, then this might be the book that you will enjoy. The next book that I'm going to read is called Thunderball. If you love James Bond, then you'll love this one, especially if you like the money's underwater, because this one is a lot of underwater shit. The next book I'm going to read is called The Catch in the Rye. If you heard of this one, it's probably because it's a popular book about a guy who catches things and he's... Sits in a piece of bread. Uh, the next book I'm going to read is called The Science of Living and the Art of Being, and it's by an old Indian with a beard. Next book, final book, how much do we got on time? Three seconds, American Psycho, Psychotic in America. Next week we review more books of Tony! Tony, and I'm an intellectual, and I'm going to review five books for you in under the minute. This is Tony's 60 second book review. The first book I'm going to review is called On the Road. It's by Jack Kerouac, and it's about a guy who's always on the road, and he does things out on the road. It's called On the Road. The next book I'm going to review is a real big book. It's called The Complete Sherlock Holmes. Now, if you like guys with pipes who solve mysteries, then this is the book for you, but it's a bit long, so I won't read it. Next book I'm going to review is called The Silence of the Lambs. If you've seen the movie, you might want to read the book, or you might not, because you already know the story. But it's about a guy who silences a bunch of lambs and shit. Next book I'm going to review is called The Dharma Bums. It's a lot like On the Road, because it's by the same guy, but it's about a bunch of bums who beg for money, and they have a lot of Dharma and shit. Next book I'm going to review is called The Complete Book of Running. I hate running, so I don't know why I have this book. But if you like running, you might like it because it's the complete one about it. Thanks, I'm Tony. I'm an intellectual. Hey, I'm Tony, and I'm an intellectual. I'm here to review five books for you in under 60 seconds. Here it goes. How much time? 54? Now 52? Okay. First book I'm going to review is called Four Past Midnight. It's a bunch of stories by Stephen King, the master of horror, and he writes a bunch of stories and they're really stupid. And even his picture looks dumb. Next book, Teach Yourself Icelandic. If you want to know a language that nobody ever speaks and you'll never have to use, check that book out. Next book, Fight Club. It's a book about a club. If you like fighting, join it. Next book, Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf? I hate wolves, so I'm the one. I'm afraid. In fact, I'm in there. Hey, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Tony is. Next book, Miriam Webster's Dictionary. It's a book about words. Miriam wrote them all down, and she even knew the meanings. Here's one. Population. A bunch of people and shit. Miriam knows her shit. Let's go. How many? That was five? How many... Hey, I'm Tony, and I'm an intellectual. Here's five books in under 60 seconds. First book I'm going to review, Isaac Newton. It's a biography about the scientist who lived a long time ago and discovered gravity. People think he discovered gravity with an apple, but in this book they argue that he discovered it with a plum. Riveting stuff. Next book, Red Dragon. If you're into dragons, read it. If you only like blue dragons or yellow dragons, I say skip it, because they're all red in that one. 
Next board, Midnight Sun, just in time for Halloween. It's about a sun that comes out late at night. Ooh, scary, real good. Next book, Nightmares and Dream Sketch. It's by Stephen King, the master of horror. Here he really failed. Why? Not because of the stories, which are incredibly good, but the picture. He failed there. Take another picture, Stephen. Jesus. Next book, Iceland. It's about a place that you'll never go. Read it if you want, but I'd call you a moron. All right, that's my 60-second book review. How much time? Fuck you. Everybody, it's me, Tony. I'm an intellectual, and I'm going to review five books in under a minute. It's Tony's 60 Second Book Review. How much time do I got? 48 seconds? How much now? 45? How much? 42? Now how much? 38. Okay. First book I'm going to review is called Write It Down, Make It Happen. If you like to write shit down and then watch it happen, this is the book for you. I believe in it wholeheartedly. I wrote down that I had to take a massive dump. In five minutes, I took a dump. Next book. Running and being. It's all about running, but it's also about being. If you like to run and to be, this is the book for you. I hate running, but I like to be. I read half of the book, and now I can be. Look at me, I'm being. Next book, it's a good night. It's all about getting a good night's sleep. I read it after not sleeping for a year and a half. I read one page and fell asleep immediately. Terrible book. It's hideously boring, but it works. Next book, Body, Mind, Mastery. It's all about mastering your body and your mind. I read half the book and I mastered my mind, but I haven't mastered my body. I'm taking a piece of my pants right now. I should read the other half. Next book, it's called The Journal, because it's my journal. It's all about my life since I was a baby and onward. I had a terrible life as a baby. I was raped by every member of my family, including my baby sister, who's two weeks younger than me. Terrible book, long story, read it, it's about me. How much time? Fuck you.